ladies and gentlemen um, in this video I are going to implement a binary search tree okay it's okay to remove this I'm going to implement a binary search tree <coughs> using C sharp uh, implemented using linked list so let's begin let's go to binary search tree <coughs> of the programs we will uh, add a namespace very old school binary search tree um, internal class program then static void main binary search tree okay so binary search tree we will implement it like this so that oops so that if we have like a 10 here and in the left we're going to have four we're going to have two and in the right side they're gonna have like eight and maybe three so this is the tree binary we have left and right and and thing we can also add some eight here or maybe nine so that <coughs> Yeah, our tree will look like this and maybe put a one here like that so 10 uh, it's left is 4 right is 8 and 4 has 2 and 9 and 8 has 3 and 1 so to implement that we're going to <coughs> create a node public class node so this node node will have a value so let's say the public int value okay and we're going to have a left node it's going to be a node and this is the left we're going to have a get set here get set and we want to make it choi choi we want to have a private here get set private set and public node write get private set okay and the constructor for this one ctor well, ctors dot work node and we're going to <coughs> pass it here the parameters to create our our node so node left node right so um, uh, so we want to um, <coughs> How can we put that? Uh, no, no, no. We don't want to put a private setting here. So that we can just pass in null here. Null, right? And then value will be the value. Left will be the smaller left here. And then the right will be the right. Oops. Then we're going to add a contains um, contains method here to check if a if a node contains if if, if the 
directory contains uh, that particular value. So this one here would be the value. So we're going to check <coughs> if the value of this node is equals to value return true. Uh, if and uh, then we're going if not then we're going to traverse the left node so if value if value is lesser than value traverse the left node or maybe we'll just traverse everything uh, found in left is equals to um, if left is not equal to null and and left dot contains value if found in left hold on if found in left is if it found in left return true and found in right so if right is not equal to null and right dot contains value return found in right So let's test this. Let's form this tree. So let's start by creating a node, node 10. It's close to new node 10. Uh, and then node, node 1 is 1. Node two, node nine, node eight. How many more? Eight, uh, node three, node three, <coughs> three, two, one, nine, eight and four four okay and then one two three four five six seven two three four five six seven okay seven then let's put four i oh know it's yeah it's put four and eight and ten so ten is here then left is four so left is yeah the first one left it's going to be n4 and n8 and for n8 and for the four four is going to have two and nine n2 and n9 and 8 is going to have 3 and 4, a uh, 3 and 1. 8 is going to have 3 and 1. And 3 and n 1. Yep, and 3 and n 1. How about 9? Nine? 9 doesn't have any siblings. How about 3? Nope. 2? Nope. And 1? Nope. Okay, so that is our tree. Then if we um, a bool result, so this n10 contains one. So we're going to expect a true here because um, 10, the entire tree here, 10 has one node as a node that is one. 
the dot net run <coughs> The name found in left does not exist in the camera. Found in left. Oh yeah, I guess it's supposed to be bool. Okay, let's go. True. Let's say if uh, we will put something that is not in our tree. I'll say 20 should be false. False, okay. So how about we find four? Put four. Should be true. Okay, and how about <coughs> five. Th do we have five? No, we don't have five, right? So if we put five, then this should be a false. False. All right. So that's it. Um, yeah, our binary search tree is working. We have left node and right node. We form the tree structure he here. And then how we traverse is we use recursive method to find the value. <coughs> so first we check for the left node and if it, if it can't find anything, it will go to the right node. And yep, that's it. Thanks. Bye-bye.